Thank you for the introduction. Uh, then I will present the QS and QU uh, and create your experience in the next generation networks. I will present now the first the concept of uh, uh, this topic. Quality of service. Uh, for quality of service, uh, there is different parameter which should be taken into account. Bandwidth, latency, jitter, water, uh, packet loss, packet delay. But not all parameters are necessary. For example, for video application, what is important is the bandwidth. You should have a big bandwidth to transmit the information. But for voice over IP, it's consumed very few bandwidth. And what is important is more the latency, because uh, QS is based on latency. Then, depending on your application, one or another parameter should be uh, taken into account, but not all. Uh, CUS class of the class of service is another uh, notion is different for QS. CUS classifies the service in different classes, and uh, UTSI Operator Communication Standard Institute proposed four type of CUS: class one best effort. And class two and class four is the best one. QS is guaranteed. Then, uh, of course, the price is different because it's very cheap. Here, QS guarantee is more expensive. And uh, CUS is used to classify each type of traffic with a particular way. Uh, another notion is QE, quality of experience. Then it is now a subjective measure uh, of a customer for a supplier service. Then. Uh, is a subjective uh, notion of the quality. Uh, today, many service level agreements offered by provider offer three types of CUS class of service, premium, Olympic, and best effort. Premium use about 15% of the network resource. It's very, uh, offer very good quality, but it's very expensive. Olympic, you can see, use about 80% network resource. And for best effort, you can see the remaining is, uh, you add this to one, is 5% uh, is used for best effort. Then there is no quality. Best effort, if, uh, if there is nobody in the network, you have very good quality. But if you are with a lot of people connected, then the quality is very bad. The quality of service can be linked to two levels, network level, application level. Then this two level can be used to offer the quality. Uh, and the network level, in the, uh, then the quality depends on the network policy. Then there is a different mechanism which can be used to offer the quality uh, based on uh, which is compatible with USPF, RIP, RIP uh, SNMP, BGP, and so on. Then there is a mechanism in the core of the networks 